Changing your transparency of your view models is something that many people in the TF2 community do. But how about changing the opacity of the view models freely? I'll give you guys a breakdown of what we are going to do. So firstly, we are going to install a VTF file, which is basically a square picture, and a VMT file, which are a few lines of code. As a second step, we are going to download a HUD, which is the simplest way of getting this to work. Then we will make an autoexec.cfg file to tweak our TF2 settings. And by this point, our view models should be transparent, but they are capped at 50% opacity. And on the final step, I'm going to show you how you can change the opacity freely, but for that we have to use a photo editing program to change the VTF file. I will show you a way of doing this with the program called paint.net, but you could also use Photoshop or GIMP. All the links and commands are in the description. We will begin by opening up our browser and downloading the VTF and VMT files. Simply download the zip folder and extract it. To access the Team Fortress files, go to Steam, right click on the game, Properties, Local Files, Browse. Once there, click on TF and then go into the Custom folder. If you don't have one, simply create one. Put the downloaded folder into the Custom folder. You should keep the structure of the folders and there is the VTF file. Then we have to get the HUD. It's the simplest way of doing this. I use the improved default HUD, but you can use any HUD you want. The download link for this HUD will be in the description. When you download the file, it should be in a zip. Move the zip to the custom folder and extract it. Open it up and go to the scripts folder. There you should see a hotlayout.res file. Open it with a text editor. In there you may notice that some lines point to another file. The most important thing is that you locate the line resource slash hotlayout.res. In the brackets we will paste some commands that you can obtain from the description. Make sure to not delete anything, save and close this file. Go back to the TF folder, open the config folder. There make a text file that we will call autoexec.cfg. In case you don't know how to show file extensions, click the arrow button in the top right corner and click the box that says file name extensions. Open the file and paste in the next set of commands, save and exit. Now we should already have transparent view models, so let's open up Team Fortress. We are going to join a casual server. As you can see, we already have transparent view models, but they are set on 50% opacity. If that's alright with you, you can stop watching and enjoy your transparent view models. But if you want to change them, I'll show you how you can do that. To change the opacity, we will have to edit the VTF file that we have installed on our first step. By using paint.net, it's a free program for Windows 10. We will install three things. Firstly, the app itself. Open it up and run the exe file.
close it, download the VDF plugin so we can edit our file. In the file explorer, open the folder where you installed paint.net, put the zip in the file types folder and extract it. And for the final step, we will download an extension that will allow us to change the transparency of our file. Install it and run the exe. Untick every single box. Except for the transparency.dll in the adjustments tab. Now we can finally go to our custom folder. Open the folders where we got our VTF file, open it with bane.net. Once you're in bane.net, go to adjustments tab and click on transparency. There you can adjust the transparency to your liking. By setting a negative value, your view model will be more visible. By setting it to a positive value, it will disappear more. When you are happy, save, click OK and close it. Now we can open up TF2 again. As you can see, my view models are transparent but a lot more visible because the transparency is at 75% opacity. You can play around with the settings and change the visibility to your liking. I prefer to keep my weapons on a high opacity level so I can barely see past them. Because we are just editing a picture, you can draw something inside. Something like this, for example. But maybe you may want to just draw a circle in the middle, so no view model element will cover up your vision anymore. The painted stuff will be subtracted from the view model. In game, it will look something like this. Or like this. I didn't yet discover a fix to the view model, resetting to 100% opacity when getting Ubered, critzed or when bleeding in that period of time. I hope this video helped you and if you've enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.